We've got Nina and Reagan here. I think Reagan is a little tired because there was a lot going on inside the Octagon. Nina, we have to lead off with the retirement because I think that some of us who know you know that you've wanted to have more kids and we thought this could be coming. So it's so beautiful, it's on your terms, but really, how long have you been contemplating this choice? Um, I always wanted more than one, like that's a known. Um, I came back the first fight a little too fast. I feel like if I made it, didn't it right and didn't go through all the complications I did, I would have done a couple more. Um, but I just wanted to do one more at the weight that I know I'm comfortable at, and so I could take a picture of Reagan with a win, so that was that. Oh my God, okay, I'm gonna try not to cry throughout this interview. That's so beautiful, Nina, that that's what you wanted, but Talk to me about moving up to 125, finding success in your last fight. I mean, when you fought somebody like Cynthia Calvillo, you know you're in for a tough fight. Yeah. And knowing that it's going to be your last one, what were the challenges that you faced inside the octagon? You know, I'm a different fighter at 125. Um, I have my balance better. I'm better at defending takedowns. I just kind of got stuck at 115 because they didn't have 25 when I started. Uh, and I was, didn't want to fight on the local circuit. So I was originally a 25. I had most of my knockouts and finishes at 25. Um, I knew I lost that at 15, so if I was going to do one more, I was going to do the right way. I, I didn't cut weight. I'm maybe 129 right now, um, but I feel good, and I think that's what matters. When the scorecards were being announced, um, you had sort of different emotions going on throughout your face. I mean, after that battle with Cynthia, what really was going through your mind? Did you feel the confidence that you did enough? I thought for sure I had the first and third, so I thought that I won 29-28. And when they were saying split decision, but then they said 30-27, I knew 100% I won the first round. So then I knew I won the fight. <laughs> yeah, well, it's amazing that you were able to go out with a win. You mentioned something, Nina, that I thought was really cool, that you wanted to help coach the next generation of female fighters. Is that something you've always felt, or is that relatively new, considering you guys spent so much time on the Ultimate Fighter? I actually got into MMA as a striking coach. Um, the girl that I was coaching suggested I should fight. <laughs> and I was like, fine, I'll just do one, and then we got here. So I've always kind of been Amanda's uh, coach and corner for the past 10 years. Everyone has seen that. Um, I helped on the Ultimate Fighter. A lot of the girls gave me a lot of positive uh, feedback. Um, and I'm not trying to take away from managers or anything like that, but I'm not about trying to just grab girls to uh, push them in the wrong direction because I want some money. I'm definitely financially stable outside of fighting, um, and I just want to help those girls any way I can, free of cards. I don't want to take anything from them. Well, Nina, you have been such a joy to work with, but an even bigger joy to watch you be a mom. We have watched Reagan grow up with you, and it's it's truly been a joy for us. So thank you for sharing her with us, you know, and this journey. Congratulations on going out on your terms. Have a million more babies, and we can't wait to see them all and give them treats in the fighter meetings. <laughs> thank you. You're going to still see her around, just not me in the cage. With her. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.